Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 93. Today we explore the often missed apps page in your Google Chrome browser. So today's Tech Tuesday is short and sweet, but on something I just don't see people using. In fact, I don't even know if they're aware of it. In your bookmarks bar, you have a little button that says apps. Now if you don't see your bookmarks bar, you can go to the three dots in the top right corner and click on bookmarks and then choose show bookmarks bar. Your bookmarks bar also shows up anytime you open up a new tab, regardless if you have it turned on or not. Now, most of us have used this apps button once or twice at least to go to the web store. And you may have noticed that there are some other Google icons here. But other than that, there's not much there. Well, that's because it's a legacy feature from the earlier days of Chrome when you could install apps in addition to extensions. But the problem is with apps is that they're mostly just fancy visual bookmarks and Chrome ceased to carry them in the store. But you can still use this function very well if you know how, and I honestly think it's pretty handy for pages that you go to on a regular basis. That is, you can create your own shortcuts here and even organize them into separate pages, yes. So the way you do this is you go to a page that you would like to create an kind of app icon for, like Twitter. And you go up to the three dots and choose more tools and create shortcut. You get a chance to name it, so you can call it whatever you'd like, and you have an option to open this in a separate window. I'm not gonna do that for Twitter, but I will do it for another app. Then we'll hit create. It creates a shortcut on your desktop, but also when you go back to your apps page, you've got that app there. And you can then just click and drag and move it around in any order you'd like. So let's try this again. Let's say I wanna do something for SketchUp. Well, SketchUp is interesting. SketchUp is designed to be set up kind of as an app and to run in its own separate window, which is kind of interesting. It makes it kind of work like a separate application. If you look up at the top and you're very observant, the first time you come to SketchUp, the, the, the web-based version of SketchUp, you'll see a little plus sign up here next to your bookmark that says install SketchUp for web. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, if it's a web-based thing, why do I install it? Well, when you click on it, it's installing it as an app into your app tray. It's kind of an old legacy feature. I choose install, only this time, because it's, it's kind of a separate app, because it has a slightly different functionality, and actually had that install thing on the page, it runs as a separate standalone window. So I could actually minimize my browser and still be running this, SketchUp. If I close it out, it goes away, but I'm still in my browser. If I come here and I open it, it's gonna open it up as its own separate app, which is kind of interesting. And you can achieve that same functionality by checking that box uh, whenever it asks you. Now, you might start getting a lot of stuff here and you may want to move things into a different area because this will fill up quickly. After a while, this will fill up and move on to a second page, but you can create your own pages. If you click and drag, you'll notice at the bottom, you'll see it says apps and apps. So there's two pages here. If I move over here, I can go here. And then you can just click on the letters here, double click on them. You wouldn't think that you could rename this, but you can. And I can call this, let's say, uh, graphics, whatever. Come back here, I'm gonna move Photopea to that. And Twitter, I'm gonna create another one here for social. And then I can start putting Reddit and Facebook and everything else on these other different tabs. So anytime I need to get to them, open up a new tab, click on apps, and then go to the appropriate page I need to. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed that video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button. Why not support us? Click that subscribe button. Click on the bell icon to receive email notifications. Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below. Share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.